Right, okay, the video I'm about to record just shows you how to do like a scrolling um, text display for like a story mode or something like that. Okay, so I'm going to do this on the instruction container, so that's where I am. I'm in the constructor and I'm just going to create a subroutine called show story. Okay, it doesn't exist, so I'm going to do control dot and get it to create it. So the first thing I'm going to do is write my story, which I'm going to just store in a string. So I'm going to say story equals, um, and I'm just going to, you are a dog. If you put a tilde, that makes a line return in the text display system. So I'm going to, I'm going to put that. So you are bored. So this is the little story. So you might have something about aliens killing people and stuff um, you decide to go for a walk now this line's getting quite long so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say plus and I'm going to carry on double quotes on the next line down so carrying on my story I'm just going to do each line in my story on a separate line now so I'm just putting the plus on the end, so I'm just continuing this bit of text. Um, you never thought you'd meet a tree. Not all the characters are supported in the um, fonts that I've built, so you might end up with spaces. I can't remember what I did if they're not there. I can't remember whether I put spaces or it just skips and leaves a blank. We'll see. See, I can't remember the quotes in this font, but we'll see. The adventure begins. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that, I'm going to mark the end of that with a semicolon. So that's my story set up. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I could do, if I just scroll down, this is how we did um, text that we have to keep drawing. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this text to be turned into sprites. And then once they're sprites, I can do all the things that I can do with the sprites. So I can flash them. I'm going to make, but I'm going to make them move. So I'm going to give them a velocity. And now in order to do that, I need to create a dummy sprite. So I'm just going to create a dummy sprite. I'm just going to call it data because it's holding the date. No, let's call it settings. Because it's holding the settings that I'm going to apply to all my text as it's drawn on screen. So I just create a sprite. And I'm going to give it a velocity. So I'm going to say settings.velocity.y. I want it to go up the screen. So I'm going to set that to minus 100. So 100 pixels per second vertically. When it gets off the top of the screen, I want to kill it. So I'm going to turn the limit box on. So I'm going to say settings.limit initialize. Then I'm going to say settings.limit. And I'm just going to use the viewport action and say kill it when it goes past the so limit action dot kill past so as soon as it goes off the screen it's going to get killed okay so that's setting up my little settings that, that's going to be applied to each of the characters as they're rendered to the screen now i'm just going to use the text manager so i'm going to say text manager and i'm going to say draw as sprites um, there's two methods for this so we're going to use the second method so we're going to give it the font. So I'm going to use my Gradius font again. So fontback.gradius. This is going to get along this line. So I'm going to break this over a number of lines. So I just press enter. The next thing it wants me string, which is my story. Then it wants to know what position on the screen. Um, now I'm going to align this in the center. So I'm going to say gm.screen. Oh, I'm always doing that. Gm dot, oh dear, screen size dot center dot x the position i want it off the bottom of the screen so i'm going to set this to gm dot screen size dot bottom and i'm going to add a little bit on there so i'm going to put like 20 so it's definitely off the screen so the next thing is the text attribute so these are the default text attributes but i'm going to show you how to create a new one so i'm going to say new text attribute and this allows me to mess about with the size. So I'm going to make this size 2. Kerning is the gap between the characters. So I'm going to make that 2. The colour, I'm going to colour this in lime, which is like arcade green. 
which is a hideous color. The alignment, I want it to be centered. So I'm going to say text. Uh, I think I just say align dot centered, but I want it centered at the bottom. So I'm going to say top. Okay. So that was a little bit long winded. And then he wants the Z position because it's a sprite. So I'm going to say a thousand. So it's drawn in front of other stuff. And then it wants me attributes. So that's my settings sprite. And I put my semicolon at the end. So that should be enough to scroll my text up. So I've edited my um, back to title timer, set it to 100 so it, it doesn't interrupt what I'm doing. So let's just have a look at what I've done. So I've just created three bits. The text that I want to display with tildes to mark the line breaks. So that'll start a new line. Then I've created the settings that I'm going to apply to each character just so I can move them up the screen and then kill them when they go off the screen. And then I've just told the text manager to do, render this text, but turn it into sprites. So using the Gradius font, there's the text. That's the X position to draw it. That's the Y position to draw it. This is how I want it to look. So scaled up two times, lime colored and aligned at the top. I'm drawing it with a Z value of a thousand and I'm applying these sprite settings. So let's just run that and see what happens. <clears throat> so I'm going to press I to go to instructions. And there you go, it goes up the screen. Not necessarily exactly how I wanted it. Okay, maybe a bit big actually. I'll just change the scale on the text attribute. Do it again. Okay. Let's try. I don't like the line color. So I'm just going to use a basic text attribute. So I'm just going to say text at dot top. Let's try that. <coughs> so that should go white now. There you go. It's a little bit jerky because of the recording. But I could make it move slower. Just mess about with the settings. So that's sixties. That's gonna be so you can the story is as long as you can be bothered to type. But you can you can do that for for anything. Okay. 